Dear African brothers and sisters who think they're Americans, so the pseudo-Americans, Americans don't want anything tying them to you. The whole African diaspora thing, the Americans are just tearing it up. And I saw Americans, I saw people in the world kneeling for George Floyd, George Floyd all across the world. But in Paris, a black 18-year-old got shot dead whilst moving away from the robot. There wasn't a single post from America, not one. Not even from South Africa or Morocco. I think Morocco did because that's where he's from. But we march for George Floyd. Why? Because it's in America. And we consider America the greatest place on earth. I think it is because Americans are allowed to enter countries and kill and loot and call people dictators and call them prisoners of war and then take their the resources. America owns oil in the Middle East. How? You own gold in Africa. How? Who did you buy that gold from? You bought it from the thieves who took it from our grandfathers? So you pseudo-Americans stopped trying to sound stupid, saying words like ain't, or oh, I done been, y'all, we done told you, we ain't about that internet, whatever, what else these guys say? You know, sounding stupid just to sound like Americans. The American education system isn't as good as ours. Kelly Rowland, at over 30 years, did not know what an Excel word, work sheet was. Children in grade 7, where they are computers, they know what that is. High school, you've done all PowerPoint. The only thing that you do in varsity is Microsoft Access. And that's a bitch. So stop mimicking Americans. Put your pants are down. You are like, oh, yo, yo, no, I'm supporting the Lakers now. Who in the Lakers has ever been to Africa? Who? So you must know your where you come from. You must value it. In a couple of months, We'll be talking about Heritage Day. How are we as South Africans honoring Heritage Day when each and every day we get fake, fake, and more fake, and more fake? Honor your African roots. Don't rush to sound American. What do Americans do besides killing people? Nobody has killed people like America does. 20 years in Afghanistan and Iraq, how many civilians did America kill? But here you are, South African kids who should be fighting for your economy. BHP bulletin must be driven out of this continent. Anglo-American must be out. All of these companies must leave our continent, pay expropriation, and then the income taxpayers with the government will manage the distribution and ownership and sales of these resources. That's what we're calling for. That's Uhuru. We don't care that you, you Floyd, you don't want to be an African American. We don't need you. We don't need you. You are a defensive boxer anyway. Never really knock the person out. Boring ass boxer. We don't need you. So let us as African people stop trying to sound American doing all their bad rap. Rap like that guy, that guy, there was a guy from Eastern Cape who rapped in a truly authentic way. It's not just about America.